Okay, hello everybody. Um, this is going to be Interactive Board 102, so I'm just going to cover the Android side. Um, so basically when you load up the Android side, you're met with a couple of apps, time, and then I'll put the uh, background of your building on there as well. Um, you'll have Canvas, which is the whiteboard software, which I'll cover in another video. You'll have your web browser, which is just like a generic Android web browser. Um, you'll have the App Store, like a Google Play Store. Uh, Get Started, which is going to be like a how-to videos on how to use your board, how to best use your board. And then you'll have Collage, and Collage is basically sharing of the screens, and that will be another video as well. So what you do notice is there's buttons on each side, the left and right side, that you can move up and down freely. But if you click on it, you'll get a menu here. So if you open an app, you can click that button, go back, you could go home. You can see all, by clicking this button, you can see all of the apps that are currently loaded. You can quickly go to back to Canvas. Um, the pencil is going to be so you can write on the board as you're actually using it. So it basically takes a screenshot and then you can highlight things or annotate on top of whatever's on your board at that time. And that works on the PC side as well. Um, and then you have an option to lock the screen, so it won't move if, even if you touch it. Um, and then you have some small tools like a spotlight to where if you wanted to move the spotlight to the question and hide the answer over here, have the kids answer it, you can move it over then to the answer. You have a countdown, you have a stopwatch, and then you have air class. So air class works as a QR code where the kids with the Chromebooks can scan this and they'll be able to actually see the image that's on here on their Chromebook as well. And then just like in the last video, when you pull up to get your inputs, there's an option over here as well. So you'll be able to access it through that buttons on the side. So obviously web browser is the web browser. If you go to clear touch, these apps are free of any like pop-ups or spam or any you know built-in stuff to try and get money. These are going to be great for K through eight, but you can just click on it, click download. There's no username or passwords associated with it. Um, the one thing, if we don't put it on, would be Chrome uh, would be a good one, as well as Word or PowerPoint. That way, if you have a student teacher and you put it, something on a flash drive. They can just plug it in and be able to present whatever's on that flash drive for you. So I click that, go back home, brings me back to the screen. Um, the only other thing is down here you'll see dots. So these are going to be all of your apps. So if you click that, this will show you all your apps. Um, and it's just like a normal phone. Um, the one big thing would be Finder. So if you plug something into the device and you click Finder, that USB drive will come over here and you'll be able to access anything in there as well. So like once again, just click here, home, and just to show you guys the web browser, you just click it, just like a normal web browser, and you'll be able to use your keyboard and mouse, and you can actually type, or you can use the touch screen as well. And that's it, guys. Thanks.